As we continue mega. on our Get Healthy segment on a Thursday morning, we are talking about how to get your bike ready for spring. You know, it's been in the garage all winter. The weather, yeah. well, it was getting nicer until today. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be getting nicer again. So we have Corey Staten, the cycling coach with Bike Gallery here. Corey, thanks for being here. And you're going to walk us through a couple things we need to do to those bikes if we're just taking them out of the garage. What totally. should we start with? Well, the first thing I would recommend is looking at your tires and your wheels and making sure that, they're, uh, that the tires are in good shape because a lot of people leave them in their garage or leave them in the basement and they get cracked and old. Mm -hmm. Wheels, um, making sure that when they put it away that it was in good shape, uh, making sure that your chain is lubed when you're, before you go out on the ride and checking to make sure that the brakes work. Make sure that the brake doesn't pull all the way to the handlebar and not grab and also that there's plenty of brake pad showing. A couple of specifics on those. Yeah. Is there a pinch test on a tire? Like I've gotten on a bike before and it seems to be riding low, but I don't really know how to tell. Well, there is something on every tire. There'll be something on the sidewall that'll tell you the maximum inflation. The maximum inflation is for the heaviest rider, so different riders will need to have different tire pressure. But for the most part, go with the maximum or a little below for someone. Now, Corey, with the brake issue, I mean, is that something you do need to replace every year? I mean, how often should you do that? Uh, if you ride frequently, brake pads wear down rather quickly in our Oregon weather. Yeah. You know, it's very, uh, very the rain wears, uh, gets the rain and the grit gets on the rim sidewall and the brake pads wear down quickly, as do the rim sidewall. So you need to make sure that you're looking at both of those things to make sure that your brakes are going to work. And yeah, they definitely wear down, replace, look that at least every year by a mechanic. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And um, in terms of the lube you mentioned, make sure it's ready for the ride. How often should you be lubing? You know, if you're if you're riding in this weather, again, you should be lubing your chain every couple days if you're commuting to work regularly and wiping your chain down. If you're getting it out for the first time, it's good to wipe it down really quick with a rag, an old shirt, sure. and then lube each link with a drop of you know, whatever lube you oh, use. Oh, link by link. Yeah, wow. it's, it's a good way. I mean, it's, you, you can't go wrong by just spinning it around and lubing it mm -hmm. just one time around and you should be good to go. I see you touching the pedal there. Mm -hmm. Any replacement usually necessary for those? No, nope. they should be in good shape. I mean, if you've taken care of them, usually you can check all your bearings. If you take your bike into, into the bike shop and have them look at it and have them inspect everything, we do free estimates. It's, uh, it's something we can do for you rather quickly. We also do free clinics every week. It's funny, we think about taking our cars, but maybe yeah. not so often not our bikes. Much with the bike. Yeah, yeah. Now, absolutely. Corey, what should you bring with you just as far as essentials for pe people taking the bike out maybe for a weekend stroll? Well, for, for this ride, for Reach the Beach, they have really great supports. They have aid stations along mm -hmm. the way. But for this ride and for all rides, I recommend water bottles uh, with not just water in them because you don't sweat just water. You mm -hmm. sweat your electrolytes out of your body. So it's a really important to top up on those. And that's why I recommend at least one water bottle for an hour or two hour ride, two water bottles for a longer ride and with electrolyte that, that you've used before. So it's not a surprise mm -hmm. too sweet. You mentioned Reach the Beach as the event coming up to get ready for. It is a week from Saturday, May the 20th, four different distances yeah, and a great event. And you'll be out there working on the bikes on we'll, the course. Bike gallery will be out there making sure that everyone's bikes at the start and at the Grand Ronde rest stop that they're ready to go. It's a, a 25, 55, 80 and 104 miles. So you get to choose your distance. They're going to have uh, registration open until the day of the event. So it's a really great way to kick off the cycling season. And Wonderful the one point. essential we didn't mention, the helmet. The helmet of is course. very I saw a gentleman course. yesterday Absolutely. and I almost rolled down my window and said, hey, where's the helmet? <laughs> Absolutely. I can see and you I doing should, that. <laughs> and, I, and I should say that Reach the Beach benefits the American Lung Association mm -hmm. and the chapter in Oregon and really helps, helps millions of people uh, Help, helps them get through their lung yeah. disease. Good to know. We'll put up the information here for Corey, you, thank you. Um, as we cross over now and talk to Rod because Rod had a chance this week to meet somebody he really admires. There you go. Reach the beach, multiple cities to Pacific City happening May 20th.